<clears throat> hello Sagittarius welcome back to my channel thank you all for joining me welcome to all my new subscribers thank you all for the support um this is going to be for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus and North Node um happy new year Sag um, I hope you guys are doing well and ready for this new year this is going to be your January 2022 reading I um, broke the month down into weeks so this up here is going to be your first then we have second third and fourth okay I did all that off camera so that way we can get a head start and I'm going to clarify these cards with some tarot and pull some more oracle cards for you guys that you might need to hear for your month of January okay I hope you guys are excited and ready for this new year okay 2021 has been something else but nonetheless you know this new year hopefully it's going to bring a much better time you know i'm really praying that COVID goes away <laughs> for this new year i just really want COVID to get the fuck on but anyway so let's see so let's get started remember to flip and switch the roles if you need to okay it could still be your story you just need to flip the roles okay uh, and also remember that timing is fluid so these events could be past present or future okay just take what resonates for your story and leave what doesn't fit as well so let's see for the first week we have passion you're reawakening your passion and allowing it to transform into a sense of purpose for life no longer depriving yourself from the life you dreamed of and proving all your naysayers wrong then we have purpose there will be an urgent invitation to live your soul's journey receiving guiding messages to keep you on purpose and answer the calling so that you can live and contribute soulfully yeah so this is um for your north node most definitely it looks like this first week has a lot to do with your um destiny what's fated for you to happen with with your purpose so i have a sag north node so i'm excited to see what that says okay so let's see for sagittarius bear why is um passion here for sagittarius okay why is passion here for sag please why is passion here for sagittarius okay so we have the four of pentacles and the emperor Ooh, somebody's here. Somebody's controlling. <laughs> Possessive. Okay. Hmm. So. Ooh. <laughs> Sagittarius. Okay, so, okay, I'm picking up a lot of messages. I'm trying to figure out where to start. So. This could be about for, okay, for some of you guys, you could be a divine masculine, or this could be about your divine masculine, right? This person, somebody here has control issues. Somebody wants to control the outcome of everything. I don't know if it's because somebody doesn't feel like they're in their divine masculine energy. They don't feel like they have enough money to do something, or this could be you. Okay, but I just see somebody being very, very guarded very controlling they don't want to do something or somebody is scared to do something they're trying to put on this face like they don't you know everything is okay but in the same faces here like they all they both look the same they just look very stiff somebody's very stiff in something or stiff on something they could be stiff on you or something like that for a lot of you this person is holding back they're trying to control their feelings okay they could somebody here could be focused on their money picking up a lot of shit okay so f for the um the alternate message could be that you guys are standing in your power this could be you guys let's not talk about other people this could be you or this could okay this could be a father figure coming into your life okay that's very controlling just watch out for that i don't know they could be trying to control your money your finances they could be trying to control you period somebody could be possessive i don't know but that could be one thing for others of you for this first week it looks like you're going to be taking back control of something you're going to know how to hold back or close your energy off to people that are not meaningful to you, like things that are not going to help you grow. Okay, the, the emperor could be like a, um, a great father figure. This person could own a business. They are very, um, they know how to run a show. They're very boss-like, they're a leader. Okay, so I feel like you are taking back your power here with something, with a situation. It could be in regards to your finances, your work life, or it could just be anything in your life it could be a person right but i do see that you're going to take back control of a situation if that's the case you're really taking back control of a situation taking your power back snatching it back from someone closing yourself off to whatever you had to snatch your power back from or whoever and you're ready to be stable in something okay somebody here's a good father figure you're going to be very logical minded practical minded yeah, this red does talk about authority and shit like that, but I'm getting passion. I think that's orange, but <clears throat> this person has orange on right here. 
So yeah, it could be something that you're passionate about, maybe finances or something, and you're control, you're taking back control of that. Okay, you're really learning how to save your money. Okay, you're really learning how to. Yeah, take your power back. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. That kind of threw me off, Sag. <laughs> okay, what is um this Four of Pentacles right here for Sagittarius? What is this Four of Pentacles? Okay, yeah. Somebody was manipulative. The Magician in Reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, if your money has been very much stagnant, it's, uh, Somebody could have been around you doing magic on your finances or this person was just manipulative. Like they know how to do stuff that is not good. It could be a Gemini or a Virgo. For a, long, for a long time, you guys felt like you couldn't manifest something for yourself. Your money was very much stagnant and you've been penny pinching for so long. So this could be what this is. You're finding the strength to move forward in a situation. You're getting your power back. It could be dealing with the Aries or something like that. But... Uh, yeah, I just see <laughs> that you're not playing about your finances or your stability. Your material world is really important right now. Okay, I feel like, you know, if you have kids, you got kids to take care of. You don't have time to be dealing with whatever this energy is. Okay, somebody has been trying to control your finances for a long time, I feel. Hmm. You could be saving for a big purchase here with the four of pentacles. Somebody, somebody could be trying to hold on to you too. I don't know. This person is very manipulative though. So watch out for that energy. They're very controlling whoever they are. Yeah. So there's an offer coming in, but they're manipulating you. With the Knight of Pentacles, it could be for some of you. Just watch out for this. They, they could be controlling you or trying to control something that you're doing and put a pause in, in what you're trying to do. They could be called, like something here could be coming in slow for you, but this person is trying to make it slower. Okay, you're very burdened by whatever this is. Yeah, the Ten of Wands, the Moon. It's like things are hidden. There's a lot of secrets. But I feel like you're ending a situation because you're just done with it. Like you, maybe you were passionate about it once before, but something here is just not what you thought it was. So you're ending it. And it could have a lot to do with your money, your business, or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. You need to watch out for that energy. Somebody here is a lame or is that's what that's giving me. Yeah, you really want financial security. Yeah, so yeah. you're not deprived, like the car say, you're not depriving yourself from the life that you want to live. And this person has been trying to do just that. They've been depriving you of it for a long time. This shit could have been happening for years. For some of you with these pentacles, this could be happening for years and you're just having a breakthrough. Wow. So let's move on. Why is purpose here for Sagittarius? For their first week why is purpose here for sag okay that's ten of swords came out sideways three of pentacles yeah something here at work happened or a partnership maybe a contract here that you got yourself in sag this shit went bad a, a bad business deal somebody lied to you about something they said they were going to help you with something they did the exact opposite they made it worse i feel like you got stuck in some type of contract here with someone and they really stabbed you in the back it could be a marriage contract or something or i don't know somebody did something with the prenup and shit i do not know um somebody could have been falsifying documents like putting your name on shit that you have no clue about is what i'm hearing for a lot of you here yeah so i feel i feel like okay so it says purpose so i feel like your purpose here is to work with someone your purpose here could possibly be to partner up with someone um and collab with someone or maybe network with other people maybe you are like um you network maybe you know because that's a job maybe you do like something about like marketing or i don't know but you're meant to be in some type of partnership here but i feel like maybe something here hurt you though something here ended and I feel like it's supposed to end. Okay, it could have hurt, but I feel like it's supposed to end because your purpose here is to work with someone else or be with someone else. Yeah, and it has something to do with your finances. You're not supposed to work with whoever you were working with. You're not supposed to be at that job. You're not so, supposed to be in business with that person. You're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do that. And it ended very badly. This person stabbed you in the back or they did something. Yeah, they looked like one thing, but they were another thing. So... Yeah, you're meant to network and collab with something, uh, a plan, 
something with someone else after this harsh ending you know where your partnership lies for some of you already know what i'm talking about but you know hmm. yeah so let's let's move on so for your second week we have regret it says stop worrying <clears throat> that you missed your chance not all is lost keep going the best is yet to come take care of yourself as you continue your journey whatever was lost will come back yeah it could have been a loss in finances or something then we have stagnation. Realize that perceived delays are not always bad, but a process your soul needs to go through to activate your soul's potential. So take a deep breath, enjoy the journey, and trust the divine plan. Yeah, things have been on, put on hold for a very, very long time. I feel like you really invested in someone. You really invested into someone or a business deal or something that just went bad because somebody was being manipulative. And they could have been doing magic on you and shit. Hmm. What what is um regret for Sagittarius? Yeah, Eight of Swords with the King of Swords. Could be dealing with the Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Yeah, Nine Nine of Wands, Five of Swords. Somebody here does too much. So for the second week, <laughs> I feel like okay. So there there could be a masculine figure that's coming in. Uh, in the second week to maybe get, deliver you some type of truth maybe trying to transform a situation they're being like more head over heart okay i feel like someone here is pretending to be okay with something and they're not they're really stuck in their mind but their mind but they're putting on this front like they're okay nothing is going on with them they're fine like they look good but they're not they're really really stuck in their head they're trapped they feel stuck they feel tired they feel like they can't do anything Somebody here could, miss, could feel like they missed a chance with you. This masculine energy, this king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They feel like they missed a chance with you and they're trying to act like everything is okay. They're not bothered. They're putting on this. They, they could be very cold towards you. They could not be speaking to you. But, but the king of swords here does mean communication. This person wants to talk to you. They just don't know how. Hmm. I feel like somebody is needing to stand up for themselves. Okay. Somebody needs to set healthy boundaries to get out of this. I don't know, because back here, it looks like something is going on with work or money or something like that. It just looks bad with whoever, whatever this is. But this ending is going to help somebody move into their purpose. So, oh, gosh, Sag. So, so, okay, so I do see that someone is trying to stand in, stand in their authentic truth. So I see maybe this Eight of Swords is kind of like clearing up. Somebody is going to kind of like get themselves out of this rut stop feeling trapped stop feeling stuck or get out of whatever they were stuck in to finally speak their truth and say what they need to say this person is very cold okay they they're more head over heart right now or for the second week what is this eight of swords about for sag what is this eight of swords about for sagittarius we have the four wands yeah somebody was maybe stuck in some type of marriage okay that's what that contract could be Oh, somebody did something stupid with a grimy ass bitch. <laughs> That's what I feel. This person finessed the fuck out of you or somebody got finessed. But yeah, this person got stuck in something, a marriage. They got stuck in a home situation with someone or has been stuck. And I feel like this person could finally be speaking their truth or standing up for themselves in this situation. Well, uh, who is this King of Swords here for regret? For seven of cups yeah this person has been confused has been really lost yeah it sounds like shit magic to me they this person could regret making you an option here sag this person was very cold towards you and made you an option just to go and fuck with someone that got them stuck in a marriage or took their money or did something stupid yeah that's what it's looking like i don't know this person could be dreaming about you too they they put them in the front like they're not watching you they're not dreaming about you they're not thinking about you but no they're behind the scenes trying to get out of the situation so they can bring their ass back <laughs> how much you want to bet i bet you they're coming back because they could see you as their twin flame with this four of wands okay this is probably why this is this person being stuck on you they're dream they're having fan they're having um dreams about you they're fa you know daydreaming about you fantasizing about you trying to figure out how to come towards you but they feel stuck in a family situation they're putting on this front like they're okay they're very cold they're very stoic very aloof like they don't care but they feel trapped yeah like they really regret doing this shit to you because they feel like they lost their chance in the second week 
Whew, okay, what is stagnation here for Sagittarius? Six of Wands. Queen of Cups. So there's a lot of people here. Emperor, King of Swords, Queen of Cups. So a King of Swords and a Queen of Cups is going to be significant for your third, I mean, for your second week. So <clears throat> I feel like, you know, if this is you here, if something has been stagnant, it's for your highest good, okay? It's not supposed to be where you want it to be. It's supposed to be where it's supposed to be at the time that it's supposed to be, <laughs> okay? Spirit saying, okay? So, you know, whatever this delay was, helped you grow i feel like said i feel like whatever this is that's going to be stagnant or stuck for the second week is going to really um it's helping you grow okay it's, it's for your highest good because there is some bullshit going on now if this is not you this is your person dealing with this so this situation has been stagnant it's for your highest good because it's, it's meant for them to grow they need to learn a harsh lesson lesson with whatever this is and so do you yeah i feel like somebody's getting karma for something that they did they definitely said fuck you and went to someone else so, um, yeah, I feel like this is just calling for you to take care of yourself, uh, with the stagnation because something here is going to be put on hold for the second week. You can't really do anything right now. This could be you sad. You're just feeling victorious. You feel very good. You get, you probably, uh, you guys probably get a lot of attention here. People find you to be very beautiful. Very, you, you guys could be a psychic. You, you could do psychic work here. You're a very great mother, a great father. Okay. It could be a queen or a king, whatever. Um, yeah, it's like this person is so cold. And then here you are being so emotional <laughs> and you're ready to give your cup to this person or to give your cup to anyone. I don't know, but yeah, this could be somebody coming in to offer you a cup of love or to just, I don't know, there could be a feminine energy that's coming in that could be seen in the public eye to tell you how they feel about you or express their feelings here. But this person is very empathetic, very understanding type of person, okay? And they're also psychic. So I just feel like you're just minding your business. Some of you guys could be public speakers. You guys could run a YouTube channel like I do or something like that. But yeah i just feel like you're just like la di da di da i'm ready to kind of like give my cup to this person or i'm ready to do this and do that and you're just winning while this person is over here going through the absolute most <laughs> like somebody is going through so much and here you are just minding your business like you're winning you're very victorious people look up to you people admire who you are people know that you're genuine and also people know that you're psychic so they don't fuck with you they just admire you from afar <laughs> okay stay your ass over there if you don't have good intentions just period yeah so i i don't know i feel like the stagnation is going to help you just move forward okay and you just can't really worry about what this person is doing because they are i don't know they got people in their life that are doing magic and that are trying to be manipulative and shit so yeah <clears throat> somebody here could be coming in very emotionally mature with the queen of cups it does talk about emotional maturity as well just like the king of cups so yeah i just feel like you're still trusting the divine plan okay so let's move on <laughs> so let's see for your third week uh three cards came out so we have ending something will come to an end that must take place before you can free yourself to move forward let go of what was celebrate the good and forgive the bad it's all part of the journey Okay, then we have progress. If things have been slow or you've been feeling unfulfilled lately, expect a strong shift that will shake things up for you to liberate you of this funk that you have been in. Okay, so things are picking up for the third week. Yeah, then we have acceptance. You're accepting situations and people for what they are, learning to let go of things that can no longer be fixed and choosing to change to challenge yourself to grow. Okay, so let's see. Why is ending here for Sag? very interesting reading Sagittarius nine of pentacles yeah somebody's freeing themselves from a relationship or something yeah now they're defensive they're fighting back they feel like they have to fight this person off somebody here's a nutcase I just feel like somebody's a nutcase so so yeah somebody is, is is working on their independence their finances finances has been a big part of someone's life okay um, I feel like after years, this person, this person probably hasn't been single for a very long time. They've been stuck in this shit with this person forever, or this is you, but somebody here is working on themselves. I feel like, um, this ending is going to help someone feel free. It's going to help someone <clears throat> be self-reliant, more independent. They can make their own decisions. Now it's like somebody was being controlled by something. Right. And now they're really fighting 
because they're not trying to get in this predicament no more. It's like fighting off this badass energy to really claim their independence and get their power back. Okay, this is what I feel with this Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could have been married to someone just for money purposes only. Yeah, I feel like somebody's blocking someone. Somebody's blocking the fuck out of someone. Like, I don't want to be bothered with you. Leave me the fuck alone. This shit has ended. Let it end, bitch. Let it end. <laughs> like, yeah, somebody. So somebody here is going to be feeling good. But I feel like somebody here is really, really fighting for themselves now. I feel like they've really been not doing that because they've been letting this person from their past dictate everything. Okay. With the six of cups. Yeah, someone from someone's past being a dickhead. Yeah, someone's hella defensive right here with this ending because, yeah, somebody somebody feels like they have to fight this person off because I don't know. They're, somebody here is like very possessive, very controlling, trying to dominate somebody, trying to keep them stuck, trying to keep them trapped for whatever the reason. Very, ugh, ew. Shit is giving me a bad energy or a bad vibe or something. But what is progress here for Sedge? The Hierophant, yeah. Could be a Taurus that you're dealing with or that you're going to deal with. Or the um, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, with this Earth sign energy, it could be a strong Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. <clears throat> or this Air sign energy. But, so progress here. So, um, yeah, someone is leaving somebody out in the cold. Someone is getting rid of, of, of a commitment and going maybe going towards another one. Somebody here is getting advice from someone, okay? But the Hierophant does talk about morals, values, belief systems. So somebody here is learning that whatever they were in is not what they want. That's just period. It doesn't fit. It doesn't add up with their morals, what they want for their life, what a commitment really is for them. Somebody here could be in a um, culture where you have to do arranged marriages and they're growing out of that because somebody here doesn't want to have an arranged marriage that's not their soul's path their soul's path is not to just get married to someone with a you know lots not to let other people choose what they want in their life they want what they want okay that's not someone's path okay it's no offense to people that do do arranged marriages i'm just saying it's not their path period okay so whatever but yeah so i see for some of you, if there's a commitment that's just been stuck or you've been feeling left out in the cold, I see that this could possibly be coming back around. But for mostly, I see that when someone leaves someone out in the cold, leaves a marriage or whatever, they're going to be broke. But something here is going to progress. Okay, just period. That's just period. They're going to be, bro <clears throat> be broke. So. Hmm. Oh, this is this person. Yeah, this person. So I'm feeling third party <laughs> with these people here. It's a lot of people here. So your person, Sagittarius, if this is your person, they could be leaving someone out in the cold. And now this person that they left is left out in the cold. They're broke because somebody was taking care of their ass. So it's like somebody gained their independence from leaving this person that was draining their pockets. But if it's not a third party, it's you with someone else, right? So, yeah. I just feel like spirit, you could be getting advice from someone. You're listening to your spirit guides about what to do with this situation. And it's going to help move things forward once you leave this person. Like, you got to neglect this situation. And just let it be known. Like, hey, I don't want to be with you. You're draining the fuck out of my pockets and you're a weak ass hoe. <laughs> so it's time for me to get the fuck, okay? So that's what's going to progress, okay? Don't say it like that, y'all. I don't want to cause no issues. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> just saying just saying yeah we got the hangman judgment the lovers the three of cups the eight of wands yeah whatever this is going to take off quickly but i feel like it's love yeah so this spiritual connection that you have with this person is going to progress it looks like could be with this taurus this person is your person. You're supposed to be with this person. So if you made a fucked up decision to go back to someone that got your ass stuck, then yeah, you're going to have a lot of kissing ass to do. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying like, you're going to have to have a lot of making up to do. Cause I, I don't know. I feel like somebody is defending you too, uh, Sag, this ending, because this person here that, that they ended things with, they don't like the fact that they're being left out in the cold and they're broke now. They don't have nobody to depend on their broke ass. Okay. They don't have anybody to, to help them just period. So this person here is defending you. They feel like you're this nine of pentacles. 
you're the one for them you're self-reliant you're you're very um independent you don't need you're not needy i feel like somebody here is needy and they don't have time to keep taking care of a needy ass person don't nobody got time for that bitch get a job do something with your time maybe start a hobby do something creative you don't even have to get a job but do something that's going to make you money <laughs> like why the fuck are you depending on someone else to yeah the devil popped out why are you defending why are you depending on someone else to take care of you it's just i don't know it's very bum bitch energy i don't like it so anyways let's move on why is acceptance here for sagittarius why is accept acceptance here for sag the tower and then we have the queen of pentacles <clears throat> Yeah, this is this Mary, Mary for money energy. Yeah, I, f I feel like somebody, because this Queen of Pentacles here, so somebody here could have been married to this person. And I feel like this is c crashing down. Someone that looks like they have it all. Someone that feels like they have it all because of someone else's pockets is coming down. Like they're, they're finna be broke. Now they're going to be in a Two of Pentacles trying to find balance, having to bu a budget their money, do actual grown people shit okay this is what they have to do gain some responsibility because they've been depending on someone and someone is accepting like wow i've married a money hungry hoe this person just uses me for my money okay i also feel like if this is not this person this could be somebody seeing you for who you are you're the stable beautiful independent very trust trustworthy very loyal very much marriage material type of person and they're having a tired moment they're re realizing like damn this is who i'm supposed to be with so they're accepting this situation for what it is you're a part of this person's path okay yeah but i do feel like whatever this is that's coming crashing down this person here uh, this person is just not going to be happy with whatever this is when they, they ask get left out in the cold all that stability that they had based off of somebody else's pockets is going to come crashing down and as it should because you shouldn't be doing people like that just period trying to lock them into contracts and trying to do magic to make sure that nobody doesn't leave you when you should be taking care of yourself you there's nothing wrong well i don't know maybe something might be wrong they might have a mental illness or something i i, I don't know but i'm just saying if there's nothing wrong with you I don't know, but I really do think there's something wrong with people that are like that. They need to be evaluated. Of some, like, I don't know. But let's see. Who is this Queen of Pentacles for Sag? Who is this Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here that's, yeah, with the Ten of Wands. Somebody here that's draining someone's pockets, bruh. Somebody here has missed out on opportunities for so long. This is a divorce. This is a loss of material wealth. Somebody here has been financially taking care of someone somebody is burdened <laughs> burdened because everything so this person is burdened because they're they're losing money okay this is a big loss for them they're burdened they're going to have a lot of responsibilities and that's what the fuck they get <laughs> that's what they get and also whoever's pockets they were draining this shit has been put on hold this person could have been hiding money stashing money okay doing whatever with this person's money you know why they just go work their ass off for them whoever this is so you know somebody's just tired with ten of wands that's ending so they're just tired they're leaving this person here this person is losing hella money so they're about to be in for a rude fucking awakening they're gonna be pissed off this is them with the knight of swords rushing in to communicate to talk and why you da -da 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 -da? i just feel like this person is a fucking bitch they just argue they nag if some shit doesn't go their way, they cry, they whine. They're annoying as fuck. They're annoying. This energy is just a agitating the fuck out of me. Yeah, they're agitating me. <laughs> they're agitating the hell out of me. They are. They are. What is this tower for Sag? <clears throat> the King of Cups. Yeah, somebody's realizing their feelings. They have feelings for someone else. Somebody's also losing feelings for someone. There's too much chaos in this bullshit, right? So somebody's realizing where, they're, where they belong. Emotionally, it's not here. This relationship has been very materialistic and somebody's accepting this person for, who, for exactly who they are. If they were materialistic, okay. That's just who they are. They could have did all type of shit with this person's money. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. So it's just telling me that this here with acceptance and stagnation right here for your second week, you're seeing that this is your person. This is where you, you're going to win at. And someone is realizing this. This is why this, this connection here with this money hungry hoe is crashing down. It's coming to an end. 
this person is realizing just how much they lost when it comes down to dealing with this person yeah it's it's oh this is disgusting to me i don't like it and yes i'm judging the fuck out of it <laughs> i'm judging it because i don't fucking like it and that's just period so yeah the situation with you and this person has been stagnant this is why like i just feel like you're you've just been upgrading yourself you've been working on yourself i mean you're sitting pretty you're comfortable like you still carry love in your heart for whoever this is you carry love in your heart for your actual person but i feel like your person has been dealing with a, a money hungry energy and they're learning how to stand up for themselves they really even regret marrying this person and they've been with this person for years for a lot of you with all this pentacles energy they were in a false commitment the shit was false as fuck so it's ending so good good now this person's about to be broke and they're gonna have to fend for their fucking self which you should have been doing anyway i mean i don't understand Ugh, i don't know let me move on before i get ugly and say mean things so okay so this is the fourth week here expect to be busy it might get difficult to balance your personal life and work but if you cut out distractions and any unnecessary drama you'll handle it like a queen or a king yeah then we have happiness you're entering a, a period of happiness and leaving dark times behind you taking steps into a new chapter where, <clears throat> where happiness begins and peace is restored good so why is busy be here for sag okay then we have the queen of swords to the king of swords yeah so i feel like okay so you and your person i do feel like kind of like um you and your person are kind of marrying each other okay <clears throat> okay but with this busy be here i just feel like you're being logical about what you invest your time in where you take your passion somebody here could be looking at like damn i should have never stuck my dick in this person i should have never had sex with this person <laughs> like i just feel like somebody is really being careful about what they do with their ding dong because it's like you need to watch who you're having sex with these bitches do magic they don't give a fuck about you or anything else they're after your money okay so bitches even go as far as trapping you with kids okay bitches do it too not all men are bad men and that's just period. I'm picking up a nasty ass feminine energy for some of you. Could be masculine, whatever, but I'm just picking up on the energy that I'm getting. Yeah, somebody was more emotional. Somebody here was having feelings for someone that was just money hungry. <laughs> and this is why this person has been so blind. Like they've really been finessed. It's crazy. But anyways, so yeah, a passionate new beginning here is coming for the fourth week. You are gonna be busy maybe on your creative endeavors. You're gonna be very, very practical, very logical, very more head very much head over heart about what you want to do here. Okay, I feel like a passionate new beginning is coming with your person here, but they are cold towards you now because you or somebody here has really hurt this person. So they're like, you know, come with the truth or don't come at all. I feel like both of you guys need to have an honest communication. I feel like both of y'all want to talk to each other. Both of y'all have a truth to tell one another because y'all have been separated for so long. But it's a very emotional truth as well. Along with, I feel like you guys, when you guys talk, it's going to be a talk about the truth, about the relationship, the clarity, whoever that's been doing this magic and all this bullshit that somebody has been going through. And then it's going to get emotional because you guys have feelings for each other, right? So, you know... I feel like that's how it's going to go. You are going to be busy with whatever um, new creative or uh, new creative job that you're going to do. But your mind is very much on your person as well. So you are going to be busy. Yeah, but this is you. This Queen of Swords, this is you cutting out distractions. You're not dealing with, you're not letting nobody get in the way of your creative endeavors and your money. That's just period. So, you know, there's your person up there dealing with that. And here you are down here working on yourself. And I feel like this person is doing the same once they get rid of whoever the fuck this is. Yeah, you're cutting out unnecessary drama. You're like, leave me the fuck alone. I don't got time for the gossip. I don't got time for none of that. Leave me alone. Yeah. What is this happiness about for Sag? Whew, I didn't even mean to stay on this this long, Sag. But this reading, man. So we have the King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Bro, you guys are you and this person you guys have a very strong connection it's very very strong you guys are doing the same thing <laughs> okay you guys are doing the same exact thing here you guys are mirroring each other this this is your twin flame connect uh this is a twin flame connection for a lot of you 
very strong one, very powerful one. So as you do something, your person does the same thing because energetically, you guys feel each other. Energetically, you guys are helping each other grow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, wow, okay. Very, very powerful um, connection. So what else for happiness with the King of Pentacles? Yeah, the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is your person. The masculine energy right here is very much thinking about you. You are this person's happiness. Aw, the star could be an Aquarius, Page of Wands. Yeah, so this person... Yeah, this this person here... <laughs> They they want to be with you. They want stability with you. With the Queen of Pentacles paired with the King of Pentacles, this is a good thing. Somebody here married a hungry, hung, a money. I said hungry, hungry, <laughs> a money a hungry hoe. But I feel like with this these pairs here, it's just you and your person marrying each other. You guys are both working on your stability. You guys are both creating a life to come together. I do. I feel that this is really nice. So, um, yeah, this person is really thinking about you while they work. They are they're thinking about you while they work, while they build happiness for themselves so that way they can come towards you and reconcile with you with the Six of Cups. It does mean reconciliation. This person could be, like, I just feel like nostalgia. They're really going to be dreaming about you the fourth week. You are this person's happiness. They want to take a step into this new chapter with you and heal this connection. Yeah, they, you and this person could have been married in past lives. Okay, I feel like this is a very well-balanced connection too until this shit happened with this person. I'm telling you, somebody did magic to keep you two apart. And that's just period. All for money. And somebody didn't know this. So I really do feel like this calls for you to forgive this person. Whether you're with them or not, maybe a lot of damage has been done. But just understand, when it's magic, nobody knows what's going on. Right? They, they couldn't know. Because this person has been doing magic on them as well. Like, they're confidence what they feel about themselves which could make them feel insecure which can make them unstable you know what i'm saying this person just wants to keep <sighs> whoever's doing that shit was trying to keep someone stuck man that's just period so i do feel like this person is working on their finances to come back to you because that's crazy that's crazy that's that's the matches here are just crazy i've never seen that many matches in a reading so definitely divine counterpart energy. Let me write something down before I forget, Sag. <clears throat> wow. All right. So, um, let's move on. Let's do your career and finances. I don't know. I was getting a little bit emotional because this connection really, I feel like you and this person are meant to be, you guys are perfect together. The perfect match, perfect blending of energies. You guys know how to communicate towards each other. Okay. You guys are very honest. So, you know, with the soul growth, I feel like somebody is maturing. So if, the, if you were the woke twin in this situation or the person that was more mature, I feel like your person, as you grow, your person is growing right because i feel like for a lot of you you always saw that this person was mature but they just were stuck in a very toxic cycle with someone or something like they they i don't know but i just get that energy like you just know that's why your heart is still open for this person you're just focusing on yourself right you're just focusing on yourself sad oh that's so sweet <laughs> yeah this person is a part of your purpose you're seeing that so let's see for your career and finances, first week of January for Sag. Career and finances, first week of January for Sag. And I really connect to you guys' as readings. Okay, this should be hella interesting. Okay, first week for um, career and finances for January 2022. So we have leadership. It's time to step up into the leadership role in your own life. You can expect to succeed in any money leadership uh, positions. I mean, any leadership positions. Your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your power. Yeah. Yeah, step into your power. Get rid of this money-hungry hoe. You're meant to be a leader. You're not meant to fucking take care of broke bitches. <laughs> That's just period. Okay? You're not. Let me write something down. <laughs> Let me write something down. Okay. 
Okay, just period. So anyways, let's see for your second week for Sag. Second week for um, Sagittarius, January 2022. We have unfulfilled. You could have an emotional attachment to a job that is no longer serving you. Explore your wants and needs and consider a change. You're unhappy with your income, but too scared to make any changes. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like this was a, like uh, somebody went into a partnership with someone that they loved as well. And this is where the problem is here. Somebody just somebody. I don't know. They're not trust, trustworthy to begin with. Whoever this is. You just thought that you can get money with this person and no, you can't because this person is a liar, a cheater, a con, a thief. I know if they, they steal, they lie, they cheat. <laughs> so like, what the fuck? Yeah. So you're going to realize this the second week. What else for Sagittarius for their third week, please? Third week for January 2022. Wow, Sag. All right. So we have asked for help. Consider asking for help with regard to your financial problems. Look at your financial situation from a new perspective. You still have some resources remaining. Okay, and then we have the rebel. You're a trailblazer meant to see things differently and set a new path for others. Your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster to teach others a better way. An old belief about money could be preventing you getting ahead. Yeah, somebody needs to change how they how they see or what they're supposed to do with their money. I don't know. Maybe someone believes that they're supposed to be taking care of the feminine energy and the feminine energy ain't supposed to be doing shit. Okay. You know, like somebody just supposed to be taking care of them and doing this and that. Okay. It's like, no, bitch. You need to be doing something else with your time. If you want somebody to take care of you, you need to be bringing other shit to the table. Not just pussy. <laughs> that's just period. Like, that's the truth. So I, I don't know. I don't know, but this reading is very much speaking to me. So that's why I'm very passionate about it, I guess, because I'm, I'm resonating with it. But what is the fourth week for Sag? What is the fourth week for Sag? Okay, period. Yeah. So we have Envy. You could be envying other people's financial success. Try not to live beyond your means just to keep up with the others. Others could be envying your success. Careful who you trust with money matters. This is what the problem is. This person that you were with or this person that you were laying down with, sleeping right next to the devil, thought that you can trust this person is envying you in your destiny, who you're supposed to be. This is what this is. They just want what you have. Yeah, I don't think it's you envying them. I think it's them envying you. They really tried to steal your shine here to make them their ugly ass look better. And they still ugly. They even uglier now, now that the truth has came out or is going to come out. Somebody here is just, oh my God. Okay, so we have luck. It says your luck is about to change for the better. You could get a lucky break. You can get a lucky break, some financial breakthrough. Anything you do, do now will be very prosperous for you. Okay. Then we have destiny. We have believe in your dreams and passions. It is your calling to follow them. Whatever led you to this point in your life, it was to direct you to your higher purpose. New exciting adventures await you. Don't look back, only look to the future. Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have beware. Be prudent, things are not what they seem. Careful who you talk to regarding money or business matters. Do, don't make any type of financial commitments right now. Yeah, so be careful with this, Sag. I don't know, maybe your person needs to watch this, watch this, this is them, but yeah somebody somebody play games with your finances that shit is wild to me i, I can't this re reading has definitely made me mad <laughs> okay this really made me mad okay so let's move on what does sagittarius need to know for their first week of january 2022 what does sagittarius need to know for their first week of january <laughs> excuse me 2022 We have shop smart, <clears throat> spend money on experiences, not just things, make memories. Then we have ritual to experience the magic of life. You must first practice it. Yeah. Somebody was doing rituals on your fucking money. That shit, I, that shit actually really makes me mad, Sag, you know, <laughs> but anyway, so for Sagittarius, the second week, what do they need to know? We have set boundaries. Exactly. 
Setting boundaries in your life is a great way to put yourself first. Tell that bitch, no, you can't have any money. You can't have my time. You can't have my sex. You can't have nothing. Get the fuck away before I call the police on your broke ass. Just period. Like, go on. Go find somebody else to prey on. Yeah, root chakra. Root chakra is out of balance. This has everything to do with your material wealth, your security, your home life. No, you need to set, you need to set boundaries with this person. This person is trying to overstep their boundaries with you because they, they've been doing it for years. And you need to tell their ass, no, get the fuck. That's how you're going to bring that shit back in balance. By setting boundaries and saying no. If you don't feel safe, don't do it. And don't get sucked into shit here in the second week because somebody could be trying to do something with your finances and you need to be saying no. If it doesn't feel right, no. The answer is no. Just period. What is um, Sagittarius' third week? these people it says create a routine having a routine helps you limit procrastination and give you structure yeah somebody i feel like somebody here knows your routine you need to switch some shit up on their ass create your own routine and do it in silence don't let this person see what you're doing what about for sagittarius this fourth week <clears throat> sacral chakra sacral chakra is out of balance yeah this is like your power um your creativity it could involve sex as well. <sighs> then we have own your power. Fix the external by changing the internal power. I mean the internal. Own your power. Yeah, that's all. that talks about power too, right? The sacral chakra. Oh no, that's the solar plexus. Okay. So then we have crystal healing. Use crystals to raise your vibration and renew your energy. Yeah, y'all need to buy some damn crystals or something. I don't know, this person. Okay, let's get one card for Sag. <sighs> one card for Sagittarius for January 2022. One card for Sagittarius, please, for January 2022. Oh, cut my finger. One card for Sagittarius Spirit, 2022, January 2022. One card for Sag. Okay. We have her last day in the light. Unexpected endings, surprise changes, and sudden shifts. Okay, period. That's what your January 2022 is going to be about. Something. Somebody here is going to get a rude fucking awakening when you leave their ass. For real. Then we got, at the bottom, we have knowledge study learning education yeah you're gonna you're gonna see something about this person yeah then we have compassion empathy simp sympathico what i never heard that word and kindness yeah <clears throat> so i feel like it's calling you to have compassion in regards to whoever this is if it's yourself it's yourself if it's another person it's another person but yeah, somebody here is going to get their ass handed to them when you say, no, bitch, I don't have no money for you. <laughs> That's just period. <laughs> okay. Because somebody here is just a fucking, I, I don't know. They just every, every bad name in the book for me. I don't like that. Let's get an angel answer uh, for Sagittarius. For January 2022. Damn, Sage, your reading is almost an hour long. I didn't even mean to make it this long. <laughs> it's just this reading. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. We have compromise. And then we have take action. Yeah. And then we have there's something better <clears throat> at the bottom. Then we have big happy changes. So, yeah, you're going to realize there is something better. And it's your person. It's your match. It's somebody that you need to be partner up partnering up with it's not this 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 person okay and there's just something better period yeah so it's taking action some of you guys might need to compromise on something i don't know look at something from a different point of view okay shift your perspective on something in order to bring something together you guys need uh, do need to compromise i don't know make something fair on both ends to balance something out but yeah <sighs> So Sag, okay, sorry for making your reading hella long, hella long, but it was hella interesting and it resonated. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I hope you guys um, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and good luck with this situation. I wish you all the best. Say no.
say no to the money hungry hoe. <laughs> say no. Say no. <laughs> say no to the money hungry hoe. Okay? That's just period point blank. Not even trying to be funny, but that was a good laugh. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, Sagittarius. <laughs>